Greetings to all you beautiful streamers of the Twitch kind. This is Karlastophilus and today I will show you how you could enhance the Twitch streaming experience for your viewers by adding some sweet custom overlays for your stream. They could be informative, intuitive or damn right outrageous. The choice is yours. I shall be showing this using OBS Studio, Strexim and a bit of black magic. So let's begin. For starters, this video is not about setting up the OBS Studio to send your gameplay stream to Twitch. If you are interested in that, then I will leave the link to the manual in the description box. Now, assuming that you already have OBS Studio installed and configured for Twitch, you are going to need one additional plugin package called Browser Plugin. Unfortunately, the package does not exist for Linux directly. However, thanks to a community user, Bazookas, I probably just butchered that name awfully, I am sorry for that. However, we do have a Qt5 alternative for it, called OBS Qt WebKit Git. Ah, that's a mouthful, which is located directly in the Arch user repository for a quick and easy installation. When it comes to Ubuntu users or similar, you could grab the package from the Git and build it manually if it does not exist in your repositories. Now, I do apologize, but I actually have not touched Ubuntu for a good few years now and know very little of what's going on in that god at the moment. Anyways, I shall leave all the necessary links into the description box below. With one yard command and a good two seconds later, you should have the package now installed. It is time to get connected. Head over to the strexim.tv and click on the giant connect button and authorize it to manage your Twitch account. After that, you should be brought to the home dashboard where you can select and modify the overlays on offer. After you select choose overlay, pops up for the first time when you visit the page. Now, this is where it gets a bit difficult. You will have to make an actual choice on which overlay would you like to use for your stream. Just for the sake of this video, I am going to go with the Doom overlay as I will be demonstrating the final result with Doom as well. The whole configuration page for the overlay is pretty self-explanatory. Simply rewrite the details, how would you like them to appear and make the appropriate selections on which options you would like to see. I, for this example, I decided to go with a simple minimalist layout with just a Twitch name, Twitter and YouTube account links, recent followers item and a Twitch chat integration. Now don't make the same mistake as I did, for an example, if you check the YouTube account link, then it does not fit on the screen, so you could use something to shorten up the URLs. Or even better idea, just write your YouTube username, not the whole link. So all the stuff here is customizable, though depending on the template you decide to go with, some of the advanced features might need a small payment to the creator. If you are a diehard streamer, it should not be a problem for you. As for the rest of us peasants, the basic options will do just fine, so that's what I will be going with. After setting all the options up and being very happy with yourself and the selections that you have made, it is time to implement it into the OBS Studio. So scroll back to the top of the page and click the update button. Then you would need to make a selection whether to go with the cut mode or animate mode, depending on your PC's host power and local internet capabilities. Generally speaking, cut mode uses less resources but looks a bit uglier, whilst animated mode consumes more but it also gives you some pretty pretty eye candy from the form of animations. When you have selected your preferred mode, a pop-up should appear with the link to your overlay. Now be sure to copy that text for the next step. If it did not pop up for any reason, then please consult your browser regarding pop-up blockers that it might have. Now for the last step it is to add the created template to your OBS Studio. To do so, open up OBS and add a new source for your capture called Qt WebKit Browser. This is where the recently copied link comes into play. Paste link into the URL box and as we want our overlay to generally span across the whole gaming screen, then set your width and height values according to your resolution which you are about to stream to Twitch. 
And you can also set the FPS value for the overlay, but honestly, in my opinion, there is not much point to that, unless you want to make sure that the animations on the overlay would be at a specific frame rate. And once that is set up, you should be all done and ready to stream your favorite games to your Twitch audience with style. So, I hope that this video has been at least somewhat useful for some of you. And with that, I shall leave you with the final result on screen as a proof that it really does work. If by any chance you enjoyed this video and you think it might be useful for someone else as well, feel free to share it with your friends. And by any chance if you are still here listening me to blabber along and don't find it extremely annoying, you might just be eligible to click on that subscribe button and get notified when I decide to annoy people again. May your Twitch stream stay strong and you have a perfectly not so annoying day. Bye bye.